George Clinton, welcome, Amanda. George, welcome. Oh, George. Good to be here. How y'all doing? I feel your bass already. In my <laughs> feel that bottom, huh? You got it. That's, That's right. my favorite instrument, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, what oh, do you got there? Oh, that's so cool. Make my funk oh, pee funk. I had a parliament. You just, uh, Very nice. You just got done performing at the Taste. How was it out there? Oh, it was, it was beautiful like it always is every time we come here. Oh, my We've God. We've been coming here for voice. some like 30 years back and forth all the time. Mm -hmm. And it was great again. You, know, you still all, love doing it. I still love doing it. Even though I'm giving it up to end of next year. Yeah, that's what we yeah. heard. You're retiring, huh? I'm retiring, yep, next year. Really? 60, 60 years of doing funkin'. Yeah, now what's making you want to retire? Well, I got the grandkids out here. They, they're doing the P-Funk now. They can take over now. I can go fishing. <laughs> I can go have some fun now. So yeah. when you're at home or you're at a family get-together, do you perform and I mean is that just part of your life or no do you it probably is yeah I've been doing it all my life right, right. since I was 13 I'm 76 77 this year yeah. Yeah. You're awesome. do, do you ever reflect on on the influence that you've made? I mean, you, James Brown, Sly Stone, you really the founders I don't of funk music. I have time for that. I'll do that when I finish. Yeah. You know, right now I got to keep making new music to keep up with these youngsters. So, like, yeah. If but, I reflect, I get in my own way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be out of my way so I can learn new stuff. Right. But so many artists out there, Dr. Dre, Snoop, oh, they have all sampled your music oh, I'm and I'm used it. I'm pretty close to most of them. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty close. I made that my business to stay in touch with the music that get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> but George, you started a, a band when you were in high school. Grade school, junior high school. Junior high school. Yeah. So before that, did you were you taking lessons or no? It was no, just part of your soul. Yes. No, that was just everybody was do whopping back then. It was the love songs back then mm -hmm. in, in the fifties. See, mm -hmm. you know, and then it became rock and roll. Motown, I was part of that. Then we did our own thing in the 70s with P-Funk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Motown hired you as a producer as and a, a writer, writer yeah. but your group all went together, but you're the yeah. only one who... Um, they didn't want us, because we weren't from Detroit, we were from New Jersey. Right, right. So they only wanted, to, but as a writer, I got a job. And we did songs for the Supremes, Michael Jackson, yeah. and mm -hmm. all of that. But then Funkadelic in Parliament, I want to testify, was our big record in 67. Mm -hmm. Then Mothership and Chocolate City and yeah. one, yeah. one Nation Under a Groove. Under yeah. A groove. Love. That's one of my favorite titles of all time. <laughs> one Nation Under a Groove. Yes, we but, need that now. Then, for real, we need mm -hmm. it now more yep. than ever. We started the show off last night. You know, because With matter of fact, when it came out, we played at Soldiers Field in '78. That was the oh my that God. was the first time. And Roe was at that show. No yeah. way. Yes, he was. Oh yeah. my God. Roe was at that show. Yes. Yeah. So you mentioned the mothership. Now that's actually the in, the in the Smithsonian, though. Now. Smithsonian. Now. Where did you they come built up with that the idea? Spaceship. You yeah. guys know. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you come up with the idea? There's, yeah. There we're, we're taking a look at it now, George. There's a time. But yeah. So I'm putting the, when they came and got it from my studio. They had to take it apart to carry it. Because it took two semis to carry that thing. Mm. And what made you think of this this I whole was idea? Reinvent, reinvented. Well, we was out there doing them days. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got you had a little assistance. Yeah, we had a little assistance with our cognitive thing. <laughs> hey, there's some of the best music. It, come on, it wouldn't exist without well, some of that, too. It was called tripping, so you need a spaceship to trip. <laughs> I, I got it wrong when they said tripping. I figured I had to have a spaceship to trip. No. <laughs> so I got a spaceship just in case the other one didn't work. <laughs> What's your relaxing music? What do you listen to if you want to? I heard y'all playing Cardi B just now. Yeah, mm -hmm. all Cardi B, who you've known from the very music. beginning. Like I said, all the music that comes along that gets on your nerve is going to be the new music. So I made sure that's the way I can keep up with the kids. When I hear music that's getting on my nerve, I know that's the next thing. <laughs> so I rush in and, and pretend, you know, and I learn. So yeah. I don't be faking it. I actually learn it and know what they're doing. So they say, how do you know your old ass? Get out of here. <laughs> But I, the New York Times said, I thought they said such a great line about you that so much of your success is from your ability to motivate and collaborate. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Once I've 
hear what they're doing, I know how to help them get it done. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's right. pretty much the same thing going around in circles with a different face on it. So when I figure out what they're doing, oh, I, I know what you're trying to do. I rush in to help them, then I'm a good guy. So That's all, right. All of a sudden, I'm like, Who's been like some of the people that really stand out the most? Or maybe a jam session that you can think back on? I know you've worked with just about everybody. Prince, but, right? but, but Prince, but Chili Peppers is one of the funniest ones because they li didn't live far from me. I lived in Brooklyn, Michigan, mm -hmm. and they live, you know, over on the west end of Michigan. And I met them in New York. They wanted me to do their record. They said, what do it take for us to um, get you to work on our record? I say, come out to my farm and in Michigan and... Um, We'll work it out. Oh, no. A couple of months later, they all showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> and they ended up staying there for about a month. No. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know this and story. We, we did Freaky Style of that album. Yeah. And they got a lot of funk in their music, too. You know, we got kicked out of, out of the city for the most part because they was younger and I'm oh. older, but they was having fun and we all was having fun, but I couldn't, I can't get in no trouble with these kids. Oh. <laughs> so I took them to Detroit and got them an apartment, let them stay there while we worked on the album. And I stayed at the farm. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling the audience before the show, I just went back and watched Atomic Dog, the music video, today, this morning. I wanted to watch it, relive, oh, yeah. that, relive that time in music. It takes you to a place of where you were yes. when you first heard that music. It, it, it was so original. It sounded so different, different from other yeah. music. Did you know we, it was going to work? We heard hip-hop coming out with all these samples and m new way of making music by putting music together weird. We, are, we were versed in making weird music. We always knew how to do that. But they all of a sudden they start doing it with this bottomless bass. So we said, mm, we know what they're doing. And so I, they got a track and they flipped it over backwards. I didn't give them a chance to flip it back over. Forward. <laughs> I wouldn't put my voice on it while it was backwards. Yeah. And they end up having a weird sound and, <laughs> and that was it. It was a brand new song. Yeah. Right. So, it sounded like hip hop before hip hop was actually. Mm -hmm. Well, that's stopping. the thing, George. So many people, especially in that industry, imitate what's already out there. Mm -hmm. But you were coming along, like Ryan just said, and just turning it upside down. And we still try to do that. Like I said, I try to find out what they're doing, jump in on what they're doing, and add some P funk to it. Yeah. Well, I got to say, George, uh, before you retire, mm -hmm. we would love to have you come back and perform on our stage. All right? To George Clinton, them true legend right here in music. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.